I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Jeremiah, chapter 23. Let's focus on verses 16 through 18. This is what the Lord of hosts says. Do not listen to the words of the prophets who prophesy to you. They are making you worthless. They speak visions from their minds, not from the Lord's mouth. They keep on saying to those who despise me, The Lord has said, You will have no peace. They have said to everyone who follows the stubbornness of his heart, No harm will come to you. For who has stood in the counsel of the Lord to see and hear his word? Who has paid attention to his word and obeyed? When most believers in Jesus think of prophecy, our minds generally drift toward end times or prediction of future events, almost like fortune telling. For most of us, prophecy is limited to God's revelation of his word by the working of his spirit when we commit to reading the Bible. That's what prophecy is for us. Spirit of God revealing the word of God whenever we read it. But it's not beyond the Lord's ability to reveal future events to his followers, even in our day. Consider the Apostle Paul's instruction to the church in Corinth, 1 Corinthians chapter 14, verses 1 through 4. Pursue love and desire spiritual gifts, and above all, that you would prophesy. For the person who speaks in another language is not speaking to men, but to God, since no one understands him. However, he speaks mysteries in the Spirit. But the person who prophesies speaks for, uh, to people for edification, encouragement, and consolation. The person who speaks in another language builds himself up, but he who prophesies builds up the church. When we read God's Word with the intent to know, apply, and share it with others, well, He reveals His truth to us. In a sense, we can predict the future because through Scripture He has shown us the predictable outcomes of those who choose to either follow or to reject His Word. But that is a far cry from predicting exact events, right? The purpose of God revealing His Word to us is that we would be equipped to build up His church with the truth. And here we discover a problem. Many people claim to speak on the Lord's behalf, and yet he never gave them a message to deliver. So their quote-unquote prophecy came from themselves, and not, or it came from the enemy, but it didn't come from God. Jeremiah 23, verses 21 and 22. I did not send these prophets, and yet they ran with a message. I did not speak to them, and yet they prophesied. If they had really stood in my counsel, they would have enabled my people to hear my words and would have turned back from their evil ways and their evil deeds. Furthermore, concerning prophecy and our shared daily Bible pursuit, I encourage you to gather in groups to discuss what the Holy Spirit has been revealing to you all. And this will maximize our potential to see the Apostle Paul's words realized in the midst of our generation. 1 Corinthians 14, verses 24 and 25. But if all are prophesying and some unbeliever or uninformed person comes in, he is convinced by all and is judged by all, the secrets of his heart will be revealed. And as a result, he will fall down on his face and worship proclaiming God is really among you. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Now, Groundworks Ministries operates entirely through financial donations from faithful people like you. And yes, we need your monthly support. Donating is secure and easy at our website, groundworksministries.com. You know, another way to help is just tell people about us. Share our podcast with friends and family and on your social media. And of course, you can always direct folks to our website, groundworksministries.com.